Hello. Hi, this is Casey Ryback. I'm calling from Dr. D's office. Looking to speak with Mark? Yeah, speaking. Hey, Mark. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing? Not too bad. Thank you for asking. The doctor wanted me to check in with you and see how your back's doing. Any problems or issues we should know about? Right. Uh, no, no. Good. Uh, I've got good movement. Uh, not you know, soreness is going away. I'm, I feel pretty good. Well, that's good to hear after a surgery like that. So listen, while I've got you on the phone, I am going to have to schedule another appointment for you to come down and sign off on that paperwork. Okay. I thought I already signed everything. <laughs> oh, not everything. We need you to sign the waiver regarding what happened during the surgery. You mean just the surgery or what are you talking about? No, because of what happened. We need you to sign that waiver saying that if your body reacts to it, it's not our fault. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Re- reacts to what? Oh, no. Uh, what do you mean, oh, no? What? Have you talked to Dr. No, I haven't. I, I'm, I've, got a, a fo- I've got like one follow-up checkup for just a, a, a once-over in a week. He was supposed to but, call you before I called you. No, I, I'm, I'm not. He hasn't called me. Well, when the doctor calls you, you have to act like it's the first time you're hearing it, okay? Otherwise, I could be fired. Well, just, can you p- just please get to the point. Okay, I will. Um, so you should have known this already before I called, but they were reviewing the video of the surgery, and it looks like the doctor accidentally left a little memento behind inside of you. Okay. Could you say that again, please? The doctor accidentally left a string cheese wrapper in your back. Are, are you sure? I'm very positive. I, I mean, I feel just, fine. Well, you might feel fine because it might be okay. It could just get out of your system normally. Uh, so I don't know how it happened, but he must have dropped it in there, and then they sewed you up and sent you on your way, and there is a string cheese wrapper in your How does he manage to drop a string cheese wrapper into my open wound? I, Why is he even eating string cheese during an operation? He loves his string cheese. It's kind of how he concentrates. Every surgery he does, he's always chomping on some string cheese. We've never had this problem before, though, so I must have dropped in when they were stitching you up. Like I said, I, I don't know. I, I'm very sorry. Sorry is not good enough. There's a string cheese food wrapper in my back. This is why I wanted the doctor to talk to you, not me. Because... You're sort of shooting the messenger here. I didn't do it. I wasn't eating the string cheese. I didn't place Look, man, it. You're not the one that can die from this. So how is this to be about you? I'm the one that's got garbage in my back. Well, yes, technically it is garbage, but the doctor thinks you could be fine. You could live with that string cheese wrapper in your back for another 30, 40, 50 years. I no, mean, you're going to no, be No, 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 I can't. No, I can't. Well, no, you can. The doctor says so. No, this is not acceptable, and he's going to have to go in and get it out of there. I, I don't think you want to do what got you into this mess in the first place, you know? Another surgery with him. What the look? You're just some phone monkey. You have no say in this. It sounds like this might be a bad time to bring up the toothpick. Is this a bad time? What are you talking about, a toothpick? Well, we also think the doctor might have dropped one of his toothpicks in there, because sometimes he uses the toothpick because he's eating the string cheese. Uh, and you, he... you, shut up. Shut up. I don't want to hear another word from you. I'm hanging up now. I'm calling my lawyer. Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. You said you didn't want to hear another word from me, so I just stopped talking. You know exactly what I meant. I don't mean to to just stop talking. I want this handled. Get the doctor on the phone. Let him know I will be there with my lawyers, and I don't want to hear any smart remarks from you. I swear to God, this is not an idle threat. This is a promise. I will find you. Then how about I just tell you that this is a prank phone call so that you don't find me in? If you're going to keep screwing with me, I swear no. to God, I, I have no more patience. I'm not, I'm not screwing. Well, I am kind of screwing with you, but not in that way. Oh, my God. <laughs> Your wife, Erin, set you up. She, <laughs> she says you had back Holy surgery. Cow. She says you had back surgery recently and wanted me to screw with you. <laughs> oh, my God. She's the one that talked me into it. I didn't even want to do it. Well, there is no string cheese wrapper in your back, just so you know. Oh, man. Could All be, right. Could be an orange pill or something, but no string cheese. <laughs> <laughs>